So here is the mid-century glass in its natural habitat. Yes, not often seen in its natural habitat. Rachel just absolutely go bonkers over having the whole stable. That is great. Hundred fifty. That's a good price. I don't even know where she'd put it though. Gosh darn it. Oh. When I was younger, and it's Look. sheep skin, but he does He's got have little, condition. Oh, He's got a little boo boo. Somebody bit him. He's got little. <laughs> well, he's 45 years old. Oh, he's fantastic. <laughs> he's fantastic. You have great things. Thank you. Like, I appreciate that. Like this dog. <laughs> now that is. Uh, it's a pretty famous artist. Is it Roberta? Uh, Roberta Laidman. Cheesecake sculpture, 1998 Bull Terrier. Yeah, he's he's pretty cool. He and then there's this doggy. Yeah, I used to find uh, I used to find art galleries here. Okay, oh. all right. So that's where the artwork comes into play. Look at how cool but he is. All the other things are just things that I like. <laughs> Which can be dangerous. Oh, but I like a lot. believe me. I, yes. <laughs> well, my name's Kathy. I shop for a living, so. I do too. I have to be my very... husband hates it. <laughs> like, stop. Stop, stop, stop. But that's okay. Really cool. It's very cute. I have found some really cool stuff in this booth before. It's, well, I guess it is a real clock in there. It's a frog clock. Little glass animals. Here I am. Okay. Is that? It is. This is. He's a turtle. What? What is he? This is a turtle bowl. I mean, they've got something else in it right now, but he's a shiny yeah. turtle bowl. Clownfish. Oh, clownfish. Fun stuff. It's fun stuff. All right. Just doing a quick trip through here, so not going to go through things as intensely as I normally do. She always does the funnest decorating ideas here. Look at that. I mean, of course they're displayed for sale, but how sweet is that? I would actually do that in my house if I had a hanging chandelier like that. And then there's so many fantastic things in this booth, including everyone's favorite, jadeite. All kinds of little stuff. All the little old, like, general store laid out. Just love it. All right. Beautiful toll tray table there. Okay, this is another test as the speaker is right over my head. Oh, hello. Cute. He's got eyeshadow. Gotta love a bear with eyeshadow. Look at these guys. Oh, they're magnetic. Oh, they, yep, they're magnetic. Salt and peppers. 
Ah, those are awful cute. I might, I might have to get those. Okay, you know how I feel about cows. I think I have to pick these guys up. They are six fifty for the pair. They're unmarked, but they're obviously very vintage and very cool. And they must be mine. Look at this guy here. It is an articulated abalone fish. I think I have to have him. Let's see what new things we can find in here. Lots of markdowns get done in here, so I'm always taking a peek. Even though things look similar, you know, from the last time I was here, you always gotta look for the new markdowns, too. She's kind of cool, huh? Something feels like there's something in her. Oh, I bet there's dirt in her. That's what it feels like. Is there some dirt in her from being a planter? That's a really cool cookie jar with a squirrel on it. Look at this schnazzy thing here. So what we're looking for is things with a green slash have been half priced. So we just gotta find the green slash. I've gotten some really nice glass out of this booth. Glass and pottery out of this booth. So that's kind of what I'm looking for. There's our Corday sculptures there. Oh, look at the kitties. That's very cute. Let's look over here real quick. I Actually, I've always had my eye on this piece. I like it. It would be $22.50, but I just don't need it. And it's too big with not having like a name that I can really pinpoint, so I'm going to pass. All right, let's go. Okay, look at this little guy. Isn't he just the cutest? I mean, he's a small one. I don't see. He's got some age on him from the scratches. He's only 10 bucks. I think we're going to pick him up. Let's see anything else in here? Maybe the horse? How much is the horsey? He's 35. There's no sale on this booth today. Sometimes there's a pretty good sale in this booth. But not today. Oh. Look how cute those are. $30 for the set. They are, oh, they're Pottery Barn. I would never have guessed that. Never have guessed that. Very interesting. See, this is what I'm talking about. I just got to find the little perch that my toucan sits on. But that's what those look like. This is a new booth that I have not seen before. That's some pretty cool mid-century stuff. Very nice. Look at that dining room set. I'm kind of digging that. I actually am really, I'm really kind of digging that. I have to go see how much it is. I like that more than I like, you know, the wood, actually. This kind of table was so easy to clean. There we go. 1200 bucks. And there are five chairs. Oh, look at that lamp. Oh yeah, there's some real cool stuff in this booth. Very cool. Very cool. So here is the mid-century glass in its natural habitat. Yes, not often seen in its natural habitat. Look at this cute little roly-poly guy. He'd be 50% off. He was, he had, looks like pistachios in him. I think I'll pick him up. And he will go in the next live sale.
That's fun. Okay, I like that. And here we are. I did not get enough footage in the store for a whole video. So guess what? I'm going to do a, not live. I am going to do a haul right here at the end of the video. Uh, on the things that you saw me buy yesterday at the sidewalk sale and then inside the mall in today's video. Um, kind of looking over at my cheat sheet here. See what we got first. So you might remember me picking up this guy. Now the cute couple that was selling him, everybody was so quick to drop their prices yesterday. You guys don't do that. <laughs> I was a live buyer. You know, there's, there's other sales techniques you can use besides dropping your price. Just add value somehow. Anyway, that's a whole nother conversation for a whole nother day. I got this guy. I did replace his batteries. I was a little worried because he did have some corrosion on his battery case, but I got them all fixed up and Oh, you know what? I gotta shut him up. I gotta shut him up or I'm gonna get a copyright claim. I might already. That might have been too much music. We'll see when I go to edit this video if I can keep that in. Anyway, these are selling for ridiculous amounts of money. I'm gonna list him for 50 bucks and see what happens. I gotta get him listed right away though because Christmas is here. Okay, the other little guy um, that I picked up at the sidewalk sale was this. You didn't see this. For some reason, my camera malfunctioned and I didn't film. Again, I got this guy for $5 and I wasn't even done deciding yet. And the, and the seller was saying, okay, four. And I'm like, no, don't do that. <laughs> I paid the five. I paid the five because he is from Portugal. He is ceramic. A lot of times you'll see these made of wood. Uh, his value is about 30 bucks. So we got him and I really like him. He might end up in my kitchen, you know, at least until he sells because I like his colors. Uh, then we got some pieces of glass. This is a piece of, it's newer carnival glass. And by newer, I mean, it is not from the 1910s, 20s, or 30s, it is a, a newer, more modern Fenton. It has the Fenton logo without a number, so it is a newer Fenton piece. It is the Persian medallion. Persian medallion is the pattern. It's a really good pattern. It sells, what did I say on the video, between $35 to $50. I would list this for $39.99. Um, if I was going to list that, but I'm probably not going to list it. It's probably going to go on a live sale. So stay tuned for that. The Westmoreland, here, you move over. This is Westmoreland Smooth Rays. Anytime you get a piece of this older glass and you have this kind of a pattern, this is known as rays. And there's different rays. There's all kinds of rays. <laughs> Um, this just happens to be smooth rays. There's also a pattern called stippled rays, which probably came first, which is why Westmoreland made this and called it smooth rays. Now it's not a hugely expensive piece, but this is a $30 to $40 piece nonetheless. I could not find any in green. What may bring down the value a little bit on this one is it does have some manufacturing defects. There's a bubble in the glass here, and then there is kind of a wave here that was done at the time it was being made. This glass was pretty much being mass produced um, at the time, and there you go. This is an older piece. All right, what do we have next? Oh yes, we have another piece of the Mary Gregory glass. Here is the little painting on this one. It is a little boy setting a butterfly free or asking the butterfly to land on his hand, whichever one you prefer. Uh, I paid $10. Oh, I paid $5 a piece on those last two pieces of glass. Um, this one I paid $10. 
and it has a value like she had it priced in her booth for 65 at one point now i think that's a little bit optimistic doesn't want to focus that's okay you believe me um i will ask probably around 29.99 for this piece for a quick sale it's not that spectacular of a piece and it's not one of the most desirable of you know the paintings on it so i'm going to just going to try to flip it fast at 30 bucks um, or maybe it'll end up in a live sale or a mystery box who knows um, okay i got a whole bunch of christmas ornaments for 25 cents each I mean, the first one you saw me pick up was the little plastic bird, and he is plastic, but boy, he's really cool. I'm really tempted to keep this one. I like him a lot. Um, I had a comment that he was missing his tail feathers, but he's not. There is no place on here where tail feathers would have attached that I can see, uh, and I have found some similar that are just simple like he is. So I got him. Where do I go with you? Here we go. I got this adorable little snowman that probably lights up really good if you uh, put a light behind him. It's probably he's probably staying with me. I have a thing for snowmen. I do. I do. I got these. Um, I thought these were really interesting. They are um, guardian guard. I'm sorry, garden miracle and loving kindness by Donna Brooks. Uh, they are Heaven's Little Angels ornaments, and they're porcelain, very, like, realistic looking, almost like photographs, and then they have, like, the real cloth rings, and they are signed on the back. They're not worth a whole bunch. They're, the pair will be worth about 10 bucks, but for a 50 cent investment, not bad. We'll take that. And then I got, now this I thought was an ornament, and the ornaments of the Pillsbury Doughboys sell for some really good money, like $20 and up. He's not an ornament, and he has these four little disc batteries back here, so I'm not exactly sure what he was supposed to do. I don't, I don't see anywhere that he has, like, lights or movement, so... Maybe his body lit up. Oh, there's a button there. No, nothing happened. I mean, his batteries are dead. I have no idea. Do you know what he's supposed to do? I have no idea. No idea. But there's his little battery thing in the back. So he's vintage. Uh, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Then I got another piece that's probably staying with me because it has personal meaning is the saguaro cactus with the Christmas lights. I lived in Tucson for many years and the, the saguaro cactus are kind of near and dear to my heart. So he's probably going on my tree. Indeed. I got two of these little figurines. This one's actually got a hanger on it. I'm not sure it's meant now. Maybe that was for a price tag. I don't know. They're signed Susie. And they are worth, yeah, they're worth about five bucks each. But again, these are keepers. I will put these up in my Christmas decor, which hopefully is going up this week. I can't wait. I'm excited. Got all my Christmas stuff down. I just got to find time to decorate. I wait so long that by the time I get the stuff up, it's time to take it down. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Oh, this guy is pretty fantastic. Check it out. Check this out. So I think he's kind of homemade. I don't know. If he's not homemade, he's just really cool. He's got a ceramic body, and then they put all of this really cool, you know, lace and little feather stuff on him. How can you go wrong at 50 cents? I mean, he is super cool, and again... He's probably going in the live sale because I know somebody's going, I must have him. I got this really awesome tray. It's, um, I mean, it's made in China. It's nothing. But I got this for me 
this is going to go up. I have this really, really narrow shelf that I can't put a whole lot on, and he'll sit right up there just perfectly. And you know what? He doesn't just have to be Christmas. He can stick around all winter long because he's pretty cool. Um, and who doesn't want to spread the message of joy to the world? Peace to all. Yeah. Can I get an amen on that one? Right. <laughs> Um, next I found, now this is how I found her, in this bag, look what the bag says. It's the original Anna Lee bag. And then uh, it is an Anna Lee angel that is super vintage. There she is. Dated on the tag, 19, it says 1957-1981. So this is like a 1981 Anna Lee angel. It's gotten her wings just a little bit, but look at Look at, is somebody beat up this poor little angel. Why are they beating up the angel? I don't get that. Anyway, there she is. Paid a buck for her, and her value is about 15 bucks. So having that original bag is pretty cool. Like most people threw that bag away, which is what gives it its value. Okay, what am I, what am I missing? Where's my little lamb? All right. Cool. I found this cute little ceramic lamb with the adorable little face and the eyelashes for $2. She is a cotton ball dispenser. So we put the cotton balls. I, I have to wonder though, what if you can't get to the cotton balls? Like, there's no other way. Like, what if they just don't pop out where the tail's supposed to be? Probably a little bit of a design flaw, huh? I don't know. These are the questions I ask myself on a daily basis with this stuff. Who oh, no. knew? Okay. Uh, I would list her for $19.99. And then we, at that same table, I got this bird. Now, this bird is metal, but he's not bronze. He's made to look like bronze. But I was super surprised. He sells for $25 to $30. Take a peek. I'll share you a little screenshot. I'm not lying. There it is. Right there. That's a sold. <laughs> um, and I paid $3 for him. So I'm pretty excited about that. I just got him because he was a cute bird. All right. Roly poly Santa tin. This is probably one of my big mistakes um, because I thought it was half price. It was not half price. It was marked firm. I missed that. I always feel really guilty like sending something back or saying, you know what? Never mind. Uh, I like, I take my lumps. So Santa tin, he is from um, California Pacific. Pistachios, Fresno Trading Company. I mean, he is vintage and he is cute. And similar ones sell in the $12 to $15 range. So there's his insides there. You could still stash some pistachios in there. Huh? So he's also going to be in my live sale. So he's going to start at a $1 bid and you guys will decide how much he sells for. That's how it works. Here is another really interesting item that I picked up. Uh, it's an articulated fish bottle opener. It is mid-century. Now, if you go look up what these babies go for in excellent condition, it's up into the hundreds of dollars sometimes. Uh, unfortunately, this guy does have some damage. Um, but... It's the kind of item that someone who is handy at crafting, like there's a little bit of damage here on his head too. Somebody who's handy at crafting could definitely fix this up and make him worth back into the hundreds of dollars. I picked him up for $17.50. He's also going to go in the live sale because I know that's where my crafters hang out. So, uh, and again, I'm going to start him at a dollar. I'm telling you what I paid for him. I will start him at a dollar in my live sale, and we'll see what you think about him. 
I think he's pretty cool though. I found this absolutely adorable little vintage ornament. It's that felt material. Looks like an elf to me. Made in Japan sticker still on the bottom there. Whoop. There we go. Um, $3.50, probably worth between 10 and 15. I say probably because I couldn't find the exact one, but I can find similar. I can find the same era. I can find the same materials used. So I'm not just grabbing a price out of the air. I'm actually comparing it to similar items. I got this really cute little art glass paperweight. He's a single little fish. And I, I don't know why I kind of felt bad he was a single little fish. I feel bad for those betas too that live all by themselves. Um, I don't believe he is Murano. He is Murano style, even though he's got a very clear pontal. He's got some age on him. You can see some of the scratches on the base. I would list him as an art glass single fish paperweight. And he would sell in the $25 to $30 range. In fact, if I was going to list him, I'd list him at $29.99. He'll probably go through a live sale. I'm a big fan of cows. As you know, utterly good stuff and all. I spotted this pair of vintage cows. I think it's supposed to be like Ferdinand the bull. Uh, he's definitely a bull. He's got, he's got very bull features. And this is probably the cow. So I see singles of some of these like this one I've seen sold for like $12 by itself I've got the pair I will list them together probably for $29.99 because it's the pair I also found in the same booth that I got the articulated fish I got these two Siamese kitty cats Oop. the booth was 50% off these were marked at $10 each as is um He's got some little boo-boos on his ears. Nothing too horrible. Could be touched up with a little brown paint. Yeah, he's got a little boo-boo on his ear. And he, there's something rattling. Wait, it is this one. There's something rattling inside, but I don't know what it is. Almost like somebody stuck something up in there. They're no longer marked. They would have had a sticker on the bottom. I'm leaning towards these being Norcrest. I found one in the same pose that was Norcrest. I'm still looking to verify that. At any rate, I paid $10 for the pair. I would list these for, I'd probably list them for $29.99 in auction format first, just to make sure they're not more valuable than I think. But they're definitely mid-century, and they're Siamese, and they're super cool. The last thing that I picked up was a whole bunch of jewelry because I've been doing the jewelry live sale auctions. So I'll show you some of the cool pieces that I picked up. This is a little uh, Millie Fiore glass fish pendant. Oop. This is a little Millie Fiore glass fish pendant. You can see there. So I got that. I got this set of dichroic glass beads. It's a necklace and a bracelet. They're absolutely beautiful. Got those. I got this really interesting vintage, probably like a 1980s kind of statement piece. I didn't look to see if any of this was marked yet. I just kind of laid it out here. We'll go through it more when we get ready to sell it. But So we got that piece. And if you know something about any of these, I'd love to know down in the comments. Or you have a favorite piece, let me know down in the comments. Check this out. It's like a mesh. It's little fine metal chain work, I guess you'd call it. Kind of cool. Kind of cool. All right. Then I got, um, I love the shells and the abalone. So this is all shell work. I've sold one similar to this before big piece of, of abalone shell there, and then all of the beadwork. 
is all shells as well. It's very, very nice piece. I got some bracelets. This one, I'm thinking this is a real amethyst stone. It feels like real stone in there. See on the back here, and it's I can look like it's got I can see the light through it. Um, it's got some what do you call that translucence to it? Really nice piece. And then this guy that I showed you, this uh, vintage uh, probably I'm gonna say like 1980s. You know the wildcat. Maybe it's older. Is it older? You guys tell me. It's got this kind of a a dealy bop on it. And it's got all the rhinestones for its face there. If it could stop looking at me and start looking at that. There we go. All right. So I don't know. You guys tell me. I got a belt buckle right here with a little riding cowboy and some brand marks on it. I got a Mayan calendar with a rhinestone in the middle. Nothing marked on the back. Just interesting. Just interesting. I got these. It says round, large round beads in shades of blue. Okay, my beaters. What do I have here? Because these are really pretty. So I got those. And I got a couple pins. This one is marked DM97, I think is what it says on it. There we go. There's the roses. Um, and then we've got a bird, a little parrot pin with real little feathers coming off of it. And again, we show these much better <laughs> during the sales. Oh, I almost forgot. I've got all of these too. So if you see something you like, you're going to have to be sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so it lets you know when I go live on Friday at 1 p.m. Pacific time, where lots of this stuff I offer to my viewers first. All right, these are like stone beads, multicolor stone beads. Really cool. This is like a like little conches on it. Little silver. I'm gonna go through these fast because I'm not selling them now. I'm just kind of showing you what I got. This is almost like a bolo tie kind of vibe to it. Ooh. <laughs> I only have one hand to show you, and it's uh it's not cooperating. It looks like it's even on copper, is like the coloring. There you go. I'm trying to show you the stone. You guys know your stones better than I do. A vintage, really cool little statement necklace. These are glass beads on this, and I believe this one is glass. Somebody told me there's a stone that has this crackle. I thought it was glass, but it, it's either crackle glass or it is stones. I'm not sure. You'll have to tell me. And last but not least, this is also little green stone beads. These are not plastic. These are stone. And I don't know, those might even be little silver beads in between. All of that's going to be in a live sale. Lots of this is going to be in a live sale. Um, so yeah, this wasn't supposed to be an advertisement for the live sale, but consider it a preview <laughs> of some things that are coming up. Or if you're really interested in something, you know, you can always email me at the niche lady at gmail.com. I wheel and deal all the time. That's how I feed my kids is I sell stuff. So you see something you can't live without, let me know. And that's, that's this weekend's haul. Now I need to get busy and get it listed. Are you listening? Go get busy. <laughs> Go be profitable and make it fun. And we will see you next time.